Hello boys and girls, Mr. Palace here. I found another great Scooby-Doo book. It's a good one. Scooby-Doo and Ghost in the Garden. The gang was out for a drive in the mystery machine. What a great day for a ride, Fred said. Especially when you have a box of Scooby Snacks, Shaggy added. That's right, Raggy, said Scooby-Doo, picking up the snacks. Suddenly, the van went over a big bump. Oof, said Shaggy. Oof said Scooby. The Scooby snacks flew right out of the window. ruh ro Scooby cried. Like, stop the fan, shouted Shaggy. Screech! Fred stopped. He backed up. Crunch! He ran right over the snacks. What are we gonna do? Shaggy moaned. Look, we're starving. Look up ahead, Velma pointed, to a vegetable stand in front of a farm. Reggie's? Scooby shook his head. Uh-oh. Well, it's not hot dogs and french fries. Shaggy agreed, but it's better than nothing. Farmer Franz veggies. Vegetables are good for you, Daphne said. And they can be as crunchy as a Scooby snack. How about some carrots? Runny, said Scooby. Sorry said Farmer Fran. I'm all out of carrots. I have been for days now. As she spoke, she looked over her shoulder. She seemed to be afraid. Do you, like, have anything else? Asked Shaggy. As he ran to check the baskets, Scooby stepped on his foot. Ouch! Shouted Shaggy. Farmer Fran jumped in the air. She was afraid. What's wrong? Daphne asked the farmer. Farmer Fran sighed. Something is taking all the carrots and lettuce. Every night I hear strange sounds, and when I go to check, all I see is a flash of white. I am sure there's a ghost on the farm. The ghost even chased away my farm animals. I'm going to leave the farm and live in the city. Farmer Fran told the gang, I don't want to go. What can I do? I'm afraid of ghosts. Velma walked over to the empty cages. Hmm, she said. 
Mystery Incorporated will investigate the mystery. Right, Scooby? Row, Ray, he said, looking at the empty food basket. Like, Scooby's right on, Shaggy agreed. We're not staying at a haunted farm, especially when there isn't any food. Oh, but there is, said Farmer Fran. How about fresh blueberry pancakes for breakfast? Oh, wait, said Scooby. But that night, Scooby and Shaggy almost changed their minds. The carrot patch was dark and scary, and there was nowhere to hide. Don't worry, said Velma. I have an idea. You can dress as scarecrows. Farmer Friend brought big dark clothes and straw hats. Shaggy and Scooby stuffed straw inside their jackets and pants. We'll be right over there. Fred pointed to a big tree. See you later. Shaggy and Scooby climbed onto the fence post. At first, all was quiet. This is nice, good buddy, Shaggy said to Scoob. Nothing like a peaceful night in the country. Squawk! A bird landed on Scooby's shoulder. Rawr! shouted Scooby frightened. Shaggy laughed. <laughs> You're a scarecrow. The bird should be scared. Not you, good buddy. Just then a bird landed on Shaggy. Ah! He shouted. Then another bird landed. Then another. And another. Oh, all these birds. Shaggy and Scooby shook their arms and legs. They shook their heads. The birds did not move. All at once they heard a rustling sound. It was getting louder and closer. Don't worry, Scoob, said Shaggy. Nothing can get to us with these birds here. Squawk! The birds took off. Then Shaggy saw a flash of white, just like Farmer Fran had said. Okay, Shaggy said. This mystery is solved. There really is a ghost. Now, time for the pancakes. He jumped off the post. Scooby tried to jump off too, but he was stuck. Rope! cried Scooby. He saw the flash of white again. The roast! yelled Scooby. It moved closer and closer to him. Shaggy shook Scooby's post. He pulled on his paw. He yanked on his tail, but Scooby would not come down. There's the ghost. So scary. I don't know if the boy should be there. That does it, said Shaggy. He pushed Scooby hard. Scooby's hat flew off his head. It landed right on the ghost. Then Scooby flew off. Crash! He fell to the ground, trapping the hat between his paws. I think they got him.
Oh, here you go. That's the ghost. Scoob has the ghost! Shaggy shouts to the others. That is no ghost, said Velma. She picked up Scooby's hat. Under the hat was a small, white rabbit. Huh. What's going on? asked Farmer Fran. Then she saw the rabbit. Fluffy? Your ghost is just a scared little bunny, said Velma. The lock in her cage was broken, so she just walked out, said Fred. And then she ate all the carrots and lettuce, added Daphne. Fluffy was just hungry. Farmer Fran laughed. <laughs> Silly rabbit. <laughs> she picked up her bunny. How about a midnight snack? She asked the gang. Scooby licked his lips. Great, said Shaggy. Blueberry pancakes and whipped cream. Here we come. Scooby Dooby Doo. This is a good one today, huh, boys and girls? I loved it. Scooby-Doo and Ghost in the Garden. Hope you enjoyed it, too. I'll see you soon.